chat, we're going to be doing a Beat Saber uh, music pack tier list or OST slash music pack tier list. You know, I'm going to base this off of the songs and not too much on the charting because let's be real here. A lot of the OST and, and music pack uh, charting is, is already pretty garbage. I'm going to base it off of the songs that are in the music pack. If they're a banger, if you guys like them, yada, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Does that make sense? Here is the Beat Saber form. Let me change scenes. The tier maker. We've got the uh, little BTS cover art. We have the Camellia cover art, the extras tab, the Green Day cover art, Image, Imagine Dragons, Linkin Park, uh, Monster Cat Music Pack, Volume 1, uh, Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4, OST, uh, Panic at the Disco, music, the Monster Cats, Music Pack, and Timbaland. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. I hope I'm not missing one, but I'm pretty sure this is all of the Music Pack slash OST packs that exist in the game. All right, solo. So let's go through the OST pack first, and then we'll go through the Music Packs, okay? Here is the OST Volume 1. We've got $100 bills. Yo. Balearic Pumping. Yep. Beat Saber by Jaroslav Beck. The OG OG. Yo. Breezer. Oh, was that lagging for a bit? Yikes. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, this is Breezer Jaroslav Beck. Here's Commercial yep. Pumping. Country Round. Yep. We've got Escape. Pepe Jam. Yep. <laughs> Legend. If I remember correctly, uh, I remember Apex Legends when they first launched the game or like their launch trailer, they actually used this song in their in their launch trailer which was actually pretty nutty it was insane so yeah that's ost volume one i think a lot of the songs for our ost volume one are actual bangers i'm gonna have to give this a fat 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 s tier i think all of the songs here are fantastic i like listening to them i i could definitely like pull up spotify and listen to like all of these songs yeah. all right up next ost yep. volume two we got be there for you Elixia. I need you. Rum and bass. Unlimited power. All right. For this song, I think, or for this, not song, but the OST pack, I mean, I think a lot of the songs here are very good. This OST volume two, a lot of the songs are very, very good. I think it's S tier chat. OST volume three. We've got Origins, yep. Reason for Living, Yo. Give a Little Love, yep. Full Charge. Immortal and Burning Sand. Not gonna lie, a lot of these songs are kind of forgettable, except for Burning Sands. You know what I mean? Like this this song itself is carrying this entire music pack. I forgot Immortal existed. Yep. I forgot Yo. this song existed. Yep. I forgot that this was a thing. Yo. This is like my first time listening to this song. I've never heard this song before. Yep. <laughs> Yo. The only song that I know is Burning Sands in the in the volume three. Um, I think the music selection isn't all that great, except for Burning Sands, right? That's like the only reason why you guys should play volume three is for Burning Sands. But honestly, I have to put volume three at a C. The only reason why it's it's not at a C and not a D is because of Burning Sand. The rest of the songs are kind of eh, like eh. Not really my type of music to jam out to. Volume 4! Uh, a lot of you guys have played this one because it came out recently. We've got Into the Dream. Yep. It Takes Me. Ludicrous yep. Plus. And Spin yep. Eternally. 
OST Volume 4. I think all of us can agree, or most of us at least, can agree that Spin Eternally is probably the best one out of the four. <laughs> all of them are good. Personally, I think all of them are good, but Spin Eternally is, is like the, uh, it's like the frosting on the cake, you know what I mean? OST Volume 4, not only are the songs good, but the lights are all actually pretty good, and and the charts are very good for expert plus this is like a fat s tier chat now we move on to the extras Yo. everyone step to the left fits beat crab yep. rave pop stars yep. one hope and everyone's favorite uh, expert plus level of all time yep. angel voices perfect charting Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. This is like the, the the Dark Souls boss. Everyone loves going up against Angel Voices on Expert Plus. Right, guys? Right? Come on. I think the only level that is kind of like kind of forgettable. Well, not forgettable, but I think a lot of us probably don't like to play is Angel Voices on Expert Plus. All the other songs are pretty good. You know, I like KDA Pop Stars. I like Fit Beat. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, Crab Rave is pretty awesome. One Hope is also a jammer Yo. too. Nothing really stands out here. Nothing makes me like, wow, that is amazing. I think they're all just like pretty good. I'll give the, the extras pack an A, A tier. Yo. Up next, we have the Camellia pack. Exit this Earth's Atomosphere, Yo. Ghost, Light It Up, Crystallized, Cycle Hit, and What the Cat. Camellia pack, Camellia pack. What's your favorite song out of the Camellia pack chat? Exit this Earth's atmosphere, ghost, light it up, crystallize, cycle it, what the cat. A lot of the songs I like, I think they're absolute jammers. I really don't think there are any forgettable or downsides to any of the songs here. I have to give crystallize a fat, 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 decent, juicy, thick S rank. I feel like I'm giving too many S's, you know? Like, I'm being a little too generous. I guess OST Volume 2 can probably jump down a little bit. It's hard. It's it's really hard. I think the good songs are Yo. Be There For You, yep. Elixia, and The Yo. Limited Power. I think those three are like the best out of the five. I Need You is like, eh, rum and bass. Eh, not really my style of music, really. That justifies that from S to an A. Let's put it there. I mean, it's not bad at all. Like, it's not bad. These are not bad songs. All right, so that's it for the OST packs. Now we move on to the DLC packs. And because of Dimka, I can't play the entire song. So what we're going to do is we're going to skim through the previews. So you guys can get like a fat second to listen to the song. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard the song anyways on YouTube or on Spotify. So you guys can piece together what the songs are. Yep. Unfortunately, DMCA sucks and I don't want to get hit with a copyright strike. First up, uh, BTS music pack. I don't. Okay. So here's the thing with bts music pack before you guys jump in and say that you don't like it i think k-pop is not as bad as people make it out to be the only reason why a lot of people don't like it is because of the the stands that surround the community that surround the k-pop genre you think of k-pop i bet you the first thing you think of are k-pop stands and when you think of k-pop stands you think disgusting ew just like why but if you just took a minute to just listen to the song they're not that bad i'm not saying it's the greatest thing in the world i'm not saying that i would pr like preferably listen to them i don't think it's that bad it's just the it's just the stands around it that make it bad or that make you think they're bad i'll skim through these though just so i don't get hit with copyright strike we got blood sweat and tears yeah. bay with yeah. love or boy with love yeah. burning up Dion Sus, DNA, Dope, Dynamite, Fake Love, Idol, Mike Drop, Not Today, and Ugh. All right, so I don't want to play those songs for too long. Honestly, like I said, K-pop songs are not that bad, but they're not my type of music that I would preferably listen to. This is based off of my opinion, okay? So don't K-pop stands, don't hate me, okay? Don't hate me. I'm just like a guy that just don't listen. I, I just don't listen to K-pop. A lot of the songs here are just average. I think they're average. I don't think it's like, I don't think it's the greatest thing in the world, but I don't dislike them. Next up, Linkin Park. I'm pretty sure when you guys think of Linkin Park, you guys probably think of 2005, right? MySpace. You guys remember MySpace? 
MySpace. Sheesh, dude. I know some of you guys weren't even born when MySpace was a thing. For those that were there when MySpace existed and you had an account on MySpace, boy, was it awesome. It was so cool. It was like one of the most memorable things for me, having a MySpace account. You were able to customize your profile, right? Like you were able to add your own backgrounds. You were able to add games to your profile. You were able to add music. So whenever people visited your profile, it would play music. And like, you could also add images, videos. It was so fun. Scrolling through people's profiles and seeing all these stuff was, was like amazing at the time, right? It was 2004, 2005. A lot of the songs here are fantastic. Bleed it out. Breaking the habit. Faint. Given up. In the end. New divide. Numb. One step closer. Paper cuts. Somewhere I belong and what I've done. Linkin Park, sad jam, dude. I feel like a lot of us can relate to like some of the Linkin Park songs, you know? I feel like a lot of the Linkin Park songs I could listen to and jam out to all day. I'd have to give Linkin Park an S tier, dude. I think Linkin Park is just one of those nostalgic bands. If you're younger, right? If you're like 13, 14 years old, you probably don't see it that way. But for like, someone like me growing up, and, you know, having people around me that listen to Linkin Park and, you know, it was suggested so many times I listened to Linkin Park before. Honestly, they're a fantastic band. So I'm going to give that an S tier. Next up, Yo. we've got Timbaland. Timba who? Dude, I totally forgot yeah. that this existed. <laughs> when was the last time you guys heard of anyone say, oh, dude, Timbaland was so good. Oh, dude, I just... I just finished playing Timbaland Music Pack. No one said that. Like, I remember this was a thing for like a day. And then I forgot. <laughs> We've got has a meaning. Yep. Dumb things. Yep. While we're young. Yep. What I like. Yep. And famous. Yep. Yeah, I... <laughs> I forgot this existed. If it's to a point where I forgot it exists, <laughs> none of the songs are memorable. Green Day. Yep. Green Day is also one of those bands, like along the same lines as Linkin Park. I feel like a lot of us have listened to Green Day back in the day. You know, if you were alive in 2004, 2005, maybe even 2006, Green Day made a lot of great songs. Me personally, I never really listened to, to like to a lot of Green Day music, but a lot of the songs here are pretty good. We've got American Idiot. Yep. This is a classic. Yep. Everyone knows that song. Father of All, Boulevard of Broken Dream, Sad Gem, Yo. Holiday, yep. Fire Ready Aim, Yo. Minority. Okay, out of those songs that I just played, only three of them I remember. Yeah, I'm not really much of a Green Day guy. The songs are, some of the songs are good, but I'll have to give Green Day a B. Honestly, I think Green Day's a B. None of their songs really, really, truly stand out to me, but they're not bad at all. Monster Yo. Cat. Okay, I can actually play this. Yep. Press play. I think everyone knows this song. Yo. Yep. Love you, need you. Rocket. Shiawase. And test me. A lot of these songs are very, very good. The only song that I kind of forgot existed was Test Me. I think the music, uh, the Monster Cat music pack, this is an A tier. I think it's very good. I still remembered a lot of the songs. Press pause. Wait, don't pause. Press play is like one of the most memorable lines for me. It's like stuck in my head. Panic at the Disco. Once again, DMCA. We've got four songs for the panic at the disco dlc four so sheesh dude i thought there were more this music pack is one of those music packs that i totally forgot existed like i remember it came out and i think everyone just forgot afterwards we got the greatest yeah. show yeah. victorious yeah. emperor's new clothes yeah. high hopes yeah i think high hopes is the only yeah. song that i remember everything else i'm not really yeah. much of a panic at the disco guy yeah. i have to put this under i forgot it existed because i truly forgot it existed i <laughs> Also, this is one of those things, too, where it's like, when was the last time you guys heard of anyone being excited about Panic at the Disco? Like, oh, man, just last week, I just finished the Panic at the Disco DLC. It was so good. <laughs> Absolute nobody. Imagine Dragons. Wasn't this the first licensed music pack that came out? Or was it Monster Cat? Oh, no, I think it was Monster Cat first and then Imagine Dragons. Okay. All right. Bad Liar. Yep. Believer. This is a classic. Yo. Digital. Yep. It's Time. Yo. Machine. Yep. Yo. Natural. 
Radioactive. Thunder. Warriors. Whatever it takes. Yeah, a lot of the songs there are pretty, pretty decent. Some of the songs are memorable. Some of the ones are forgettable. But honestly, it, I would say that the Imagine Dragons music pack, the songs are above average. So I'm going to place this along with the Green Day music pack. Like I said, some of the songs are pretty good, but some of the songs are like, eh, for this music pack. Now the last one, we've got Monster Cat music pack volume one. This is our last Yo. one. Yep. No, Monster Cat music yep. pack volume one. Yo. Boundless, Emoji yep. VIP, Yo. Epic, yep. Feeling Stronger, Yo. Overkill. Yep. Everyone knows Overkill. Yep. Rattlesnake. Yep. Stronger. Yo. This time. Yep. Till it's over. Yo. We won't be alone. The Monster Cat Volume 1. Very, very good music pack yep. in terms of the songs, right? The charting, I'm not a big fan of the charting. The most forgettable one would be Rattlesnake yep. and yep. This Time. I just kind of forgot that these existed, but everything else are pretty good. Yep. You know, Overkill, everyone knows Overkill, dude. Everyone knows this song. Yep. Till It's Over, everyone knows that. Yep. Everyone knows Stronger. The Monster Cat Volume 1, yep. I'm going to give this an S tier. I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, but Ben, dude, why not A tier? A lot of the songs that I listen to, part of it's nostalgia. A lot of the songs that uh, that I played through there, I played in Beat Saber back in 2018. So just listening to these songs remind me of 2018 Beat Saber. So this concludes our Beat Saber OST slash music pack tier list. Here it is. Do you guys agree with this tier list? This is my opinion. This is based off of the music, not the charting if it was the charting all of the charting would be c and all of the music packs and osts would be under c and d and then the only s tier would probably be the ost4 i'm glad that you guys uh well hopefully you guys enjoyed this tier list you know it was just something random that i thought of